Welcome to the introduction to GarageBand. GarageBand is a, is a program that comes with all Macintosh computers when you buy them brand new. If you get a used Mac, it may not be on there and you may have to buy it through the Mac App Store. It costs about $15. There's also a version available for uh, iOS, which would be iPhones and iPads. And uh, it costs a little bit less, but it's also a little less feature rich, not quite as many things that you can do with it, but all of the versions of it are fairly robust and do some pretty neat things. Uh, this is the version that you use on the Macintosh desktop computer. Uh, you can't use it on a Windows machine. There are no versions of GarageBand available for Windows, although there are some great uh, free and inexpensive uh, audio editing programs. GarageBand is exclusively available for the Mac. First thing you need to do is click on this little GarageBand icon, which looks like a guitar, and it will come up with this new project option. There are several other options here, but we're not really talking about those now. Uh, we're just going to get straight into creating a project. You'll see that there's several options here. These are different styles of projects that you can work with. The one that says piano is actually a synthesized instrument option. So it has lots of fake instruments that sound like real instruments. Pianos, uh, keyboards, drums, just about anything you can imagine except for the banjo. I don't know why they didn't put a banjo in it. Uh, next one we have uh, the electric guitar which is where you hook an electric guitar up to your Mac and you can use your Mac as a um, amp. And it, or at least record with different amp effects on the guitar option. This is the voice option and this is the one that we'll be using for this assignment but I still want to show you what the others do. Loops is some pre-recorded riffs and drum beats things like that that you can lay down and then uh, use that as the bass or the the foundation for whatever track you're creating. The keyboard collection is just that. There's various types of electronic and synthesized keyboards. You also have acoustic instrument, which basically just allows you to record any instrument in front of a microphone and then add different effects to the sound. Songwriting is a very basic songwriting tool that lets you put the notes down on uh, digital paper and then it, it will allow you to play those notes using the synthesized instruments such as the piano. This is a podcast option, and that uh, basically is the same as a voice option, but it gives you some other pieces such as album art and uh, different effects that uh, allow you to uh, make a more traditional podcast uh, project. And then this is a movie option. This is for bringing movies in or importing sound into movies uh, through the iMovie program, which is another part of the iLife suite uh, that Macintosh has put out. Uh, or that Apple has put out, put out. As I mentioned, this will be the project we're using. This is the voice option. We're going to click on that and then click choose. Once you choose that voice option, it's going to come up and want to know about, uh, or ask, I'm sorry, it's going to come up and ask you about where to save this project and what you want this project to be called. The default is my song. So even if it's not a song you're producing, it will still come up and say my song. You're going to change that to whatever you'd like. So I'm going to change this, since we're making an audio introduction, I'm going to change this to Cochrane's intro. Right here where it says where, the default is a folder called GarageBand that's buried fairly deep on your Mac and can be kind of difficult to find. And when you're a student or somebody who uses a GarageBand on multiple computers and you want to move files across, sometimes it can be a little difficult to find that file. So for this project, I prefer to just save it on the desktop. This down here, the tempo and signature and all of that is made only for files that you're creating where you're, you're uh, producing music. You won't need to do that for any type of audio introduction or vocal uh, track like what we're doing here. Click Create. And you'll see up in the far right corner the little Cochrane's intro file is created. And then up pops in this window uh, your uh, project. There's two tracks. This track is, says male basic, this one says female basic. A track is just a uh, single instrument or single recording that you're going to lay down and then you can use up to eight tracks in any project. It comes up by default with male basic and female basic. 
Now that doesn't mean that you have to use males and females to record uh, this vocal track. It just implies that there are different effects that it places on a vocal track, a male vocal track versus a female vocal track. I prefer to work with raw sound to start with without any effects put on it. So I come over here to the far right and click no effect. And you'll see here where it did say male basic, it now says no effect. The female basic, you can either do the same thing, make it say no effect, or if you're not sure what you want to use your second track for yet, you can just come up to track and then go to delete track. There's also a keyboard shortcut of command backspace. Either one will get you there and that will delete that second track. Now you're ready to record.